Alright guys, with the new info that came out the other day, we now have the full 1.4 banner details, we got the 5 star characters as well as all the 4 star characters we can expect for this update. So I wanted to make a video on this to cover the banners, talk about the lineup, which characters are expected, also determine the overall value of these banners should we be pulling on this with the 2.0 update right around the corner because we might be seeing some massive power creep with the upcoming second generation of units. And I also want to cover the weapon banners by the end of the video, so we're going to go over everything. And if you guys want to keep being updated on everything Watering Waves, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, put those notifications on to be updated right away. But alright, let's get into it. So for the first phase of the 1.4 update, we will be getting Camellia's banner alongside the following 4 stars. We got Danjin, Yang Yang, and Alto. Based on what we know of Camellia so far from her kit details, to sum it up, she is a Sword Havoc user, a main damage dealer, mainly focusing on basic attack damage with fast concerto efficiency. I did previously make a full kit breakdown on Camellia's kit for those who haven't seen it yet, but basically Camellia is looking like a very strong Havoc main DPS with her forte giving her up to 100% extra damage to pretty much all her attacks, so we'll see how crazy that scales with her multipliers. Also, she has one of the more unique playstyles in the entire game, um, with one of her attack stages being completely stationary in the air, unlocking a whole new moveset, and she even has special jumping attacks, which is completely new. So yeah, Camellia is looking to be like one of the strongest main DPS in the entire game. We'll see how well she compares with Jinsi in terms of overall damage, but so far, very good value out of this banner already with Camellia. But moving on to the 4 stars on the banner, starting off with Danjin. Danjin is still a very valuable unit to this day. She can be played as a solo DPS or even as a sub DPS as a supporting role. She deals very good damage for a 4 star with great potential to grow the more copies you get of her. She has access to one of the best echoes in the game as well, the Dreamless Echo. Danjin offers a high risk, high reward playstyle, which the high risk being um, you're basically always one hit away from death, which can be a problem, but easily prevented with supports that can give Danjin a shield like Tao Chi or even Shorekeeper with her insane healing and damage mitigation keeps Danjin alive very easily. So she's a very good addition to this banner. Danjin is still one of the top 4 stars in the game, so very good. Now Yang Yang on the other hand, a free 4 star character, doesn't provide as much value. Her damage potential isn't that high as well, so she's more of a hybrid support character, can still be viable if you're missing a support in your team, and her crowd control skill and ultimate can be useful as well. Now the last A rank on the banner to mention is Alto. Alto has some interesting utility and a good generic outro buff for arrow damage dealers. So let's say you need a good sub DPS for your GN team, Alto is still going to be a very good option. Alright so this is what the first phase of the 1.4 banner is looking like. Overall the value of this banner is quite good, of course Camellia being the main prize of this banner. But with the addition of Danjin on this banner it does up its value. So overall the value of this banner is very good and also it's Camellia so I'm sure we're all going to be summing just for that alone. One thing I can mention is that Camellia is also going to get better with time as if you guys haven't seen yet we're going to be getting a 5 star Havoc support in the 2.0 update which also this character has a tornado crowd control in her kit and being a second generation unit we can expect this buffer to be crazy. We already saw this character gives really good buffs for Havoc DPS, which is perfect for Camellia. So Camellia is going to get even better in the 2.0 update. So for that reason, Camellia is definitely a good summon. Alright, moving on to the second phase of 1.4. We're going to be getting a rerun of Yen Lin, the new 4 star Lumi, then the 4 stars Bai Zi and Yen Wu. Now Yen Lin is a 5 star Electro Rectifier wielder who specializes in dealing massive AoE damage without spending much time on the field at all, so for that reason she's very valuable. Now while she did come out in the 1.0 patch of the game, Yen Lin is still one of the strongest hybrid characters in the whole game. 
who is also very easy to play while having multiple different teams and if they release a new crazy electro main dps in the future yin lin is most likely their best sub dps so for that reason yin lin is still worth going for and i can see her staying at the top for a very long time now for the four stars on the banner we don't have much information on lumi as of yet but she is going to be a main damage dealer focused on basic attack damage and has support capabilities she can give resonant skill damage amplification to your team which is still very useful now by z is a free to play healing support character a very good option if you do not have both top tier healers like let's say varina and shorekeeper so if you don't have both of these characters you can still use by z as a healer for one of your teams and now the last one to mention is yan wu it's still a very viable for some teams as a four star electro gauntlet wielder he's going to be a hybrid character that brings more than just damage he has unique support abilities that include a team-wide anti-interruption buff, reduces knockback and stun for your teammates, and the ability to deal extra break bar damage with his outro, which becomes very useful for a lot of teams. So this is what the second 1.4 banner is going to be looking like. Both banners have tremendous value in my opinion. We got Camellia and Ian Lin that are definitely top tier take this into account if you want to maximize the value of your account but for those who are simply looking for enjoyment at the end of the day summon for who you like and will have the most fun with i'm sure a lot of people are just summoning for camellia because she is simply camellia a lot of people like the character and on top of that her animations are just amazing which is going to be very fun to play all right the last thing we can check out for this video is going to be the weapon banners now we do not have the full details for the weapon banners but we can still check out what the 5 star weapons are going to be looking like starting with Camellia's weapon. So here's the main stat and the effect of Camellia's signature weapon. We got 24.3% crit rate, a crit rate weapon is very valuable so with that is very nice to see. And now the effect on it, increase attack by 12% when dealing basic attack damage, gain 12% basic attack damage stacking up to once per second to a maximum of five times now this provides camellia a massive amount of basic attack damage as you saw she does scale with basic attack damage so this weapon is going to make her do a ton more damage now here are the details for yinlin's weapon banner it also has a crit rate main stat which is very useful and on top of that the effect is quite big electric amplification increased the damage bonus by 12 percent when dealing resonant skill damage, increase attack by 12%, stacking up to 2 times. This effect lasts for 5 seconds. When the equipped resonator is not on field, increase their attack by an additional 12%, which is perfect for Yin Lin as she does a lot of off-field damage, being one of the best sub DPSs in the game. So overall, these are very valuable, but that is expected from limited 5-star weapon banners. You guys pull if you really want to, if Yin Lin is your favorite character or Camellia is your favorite character, then sure, go for it, go for the weapons. But other than that, it's not 100% needed. And that is pretty much all for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.